YouTube. It is No Makeup Shannon and I'm back again with another video. So, as you guys know, I'm a new YouTuber so I don't really have a lot of subscribers or views. You know, I'm not popular yet. So, I guess this guy um, or girl, I don't know what he or she is, but they decided to comment on my status and basically... Well, not status. I don't know why I said status. I'm thinking of Facebook. But they decided to comment on one of my videos. And they were basically, you know, telling me that I'm not going to be able to do it. So, I'm going to read this hate comment to you guys. And just let it go from there. Because I don't understand why people think it's their job to tell somebody what they're capable of doing. But, I mean, it is what it is. But... This is the guy's, or girl, I don't know what it is, but they have a dragon, I don't know if this is Dragon Ball Z or whatever, it's like a guy show, he's one of those people, I don't want to talk about people, but, you know, his name is Uni Dao or Do, and this is how his profile picture looks. So this guy or girl basically says to me, <laughs> and some of the stuff is kind of funny because it's just like, um, how do you know that? Like, anyways, let me start reading it. So he basically says, I'm sorry. What are you apologizing for? Like, anyways, he was just like, I don't know how I came across this video. But after checking it out, I can clearly see you don't have the mindset of a YouTuber. First of all, you're telling me you don't know how you came across my video, but you managed to leave a comment. And on top of leaving a comment, your name is Yumi Dao or Do, and you have a Dragon Ball Z person as your profile picture. And my thing is, how do you know what I have the mindset to do? You know what I'm saying? Like, it just goes to show you that people are such haters and it's really not much you can do about it. And then he goes on to say, big YouTubers, in your words, started out with nothing like you. But the difference between a big YouTuber, when they started out, and you is that they found it fun and they had a burning passion for it which is something that you lack my thing is like how do you how do you know all of this it just goes to show that you're a hater because how do you know what i have the passion to do how do you know what i lack like how do you you're not a psychic so i don't understand why you think you know all of this stuff but Anyways, y'all. And he also goes on to say, I'm not saying that you can't do it, but if you're ooing, he literally said ooing like O-I-N-G. But anyways, if you're ooing this for one million subs and a whole lot of money, I'm telling you now just to stop. But if you're doing this for fun and <clears throat> the people, then you have hope. For one... I never, I don't think I've ever on this channel said that I was doing this for money. And two, I did say something about having 1 million subscribers, but I never once said I'm doing this because I want 1 million subscribers. I never said it like that. In this particular video, I basically said that my goal is to challenge myself and to see how far I can actually get on YouTube. Because... I think I'm like really shy and closed in and stuff. So I just wanted to challenge myself to see if I can actually do it just to see, and to see if I can actually reach out to people. I never once said I'm doing this for money or just because I want 1 million subscribers. I'm doing it because I wanted to challenge myself. So I don't know what Uni Do is talking about, but from the looks of it, he's just a hater. And then, you guys, he goes on to say, um, but to be honest, I'm not sure about your channel. Peace. The thing is, Uni Do, I don't want you 
want you to be sure about my channel. If I'm sure about what I want to do on this channel, then I'm sure about it. I don't need everybody else to be sure with me. If I believe in myself and what I'm going to do and what I can do, then it's going to happen. I'm not asking for your advice. I'm not asking for... I didn't even I didn't even know you. <laughs> That's the funny part. Like, So it's just like, I'm not going to say you're irrelevant because haters are always relevant. Haters are... People who push me to do 10 times better. Like, <laughs> y'all, I just don't. Y'all, haters are just haters. Don't ever allow a hater to tell you what you can and cannot do. And then on top of it, you guys, this, I know I have 13 subscribers, so I'm not like that popping yet, but this guy has one subscriber. And he's talking stuff. And I'm not pointing it out to say, oh, I'm better than you because I have 13 subscribers, but clearly you're not getting anywhere. And then on top of that, how many videos do I have? I think I have like 11 videos. I'm really not sure and I don't want to count it right now. But some of my videos, like for example, my 100 coats of nail um, polish video, that has 300 views. My unboxing my Uggs video that has almost a thousand views. Two of those videos actually, one video got 500 views, another video has 300 views, another video has 81. I have videos that have 48 views, 62 views, 51, 275. Like, I'm getting somewhere obviously, so I definitely don't need a hater. Like you need now to tell me that I'm not gonna make it because if I put my mind to something, best believe that it's gonna be done, one way or another. So I'm really happy that he he or she actually commented because I'm gonna work ten times harder. Like not trying to prove them wrong, but I know what I'm capable of doing, and I know that if I put my mind to something, I can do it. I don't need you need Dow to tell me that I can't. So, you guys, that is it for this video. I just wanted to read my fr read my first hate comment because I don't understand why. I don't understand why he even commented, but y'all, it doesn't matter. But anyways, y'all, I will see you guys later in my next video. And thank you for watching this video.